Garuda Aerospace has announced the grand opening of its first exclusive drone showroom in Chennai. The Five Eyes has issued a report warning that China has been actively recruiting American fighter pilots to strengthen its air defense abilities and add more intricate tactics to counter the West. Paras Defense has started deliveries of avionics suite for Sarah's Mark II to National Aerospace Laboratories. The DRDO has planned more trials of the Rudrum II missile to ascertain various launch parameters before the missile system is cleared for production. The Indian Air Force is all set to host its biggest ever multinational exercise Tarang Shakti 2024 in August, that will witness the roar of fighter jets from 12 air forces around the world. A review panel has even suggested that the DRDO must be brought under a body chaired by the Prime Minister. ISRO chairman has said that the plan for the Venus Orbiter mission is ready and is awaiting approval from the government. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that the first stages Mark II prototype is scheduled for rollout before March 2026, and its maiden flight by June 2026, that will be followed by an intensive two-year flight testing program concluding by late 2028, that will pave the way for finalizing a production contract with the Indian Air Force. He also added that HAL aims to produce at least 120 Tejas Mark II units before 2036, and this timeline aligns with the potential retirement of the Indian Air Force's Mirage 2000 and MiG-29 new PG fleets by mid-2030. HAL plans a phased production approach, starting with an initial rate of 16 Tejas Mark II jets per year from 2029, that will gradually increase to a targeted production rate of 24 units annually by 2032, and the entire production run will be completed by 2035. The Indian Air Force had set its sights on acquiring 100 Predator C Avenger armed stealth drones from General Atomics in 2017 worth $8 billion. General Atomics was keen on the deal as Predator C Avenger was developed using internal funds of the company, and had no backing from the US Air Force, but many in the Trump administration were jittery to grant export permission for sale of stealth drones. The US ultimately denied India's request, and it has been speculated that the deal might have been called off since the Indian Air Force wanted transfer of technology of the stealth drones with local production in the country, since the order size was in three digits. The Indian Navy has started discussions with various Indian private sector companies for the development of indigenous marine engines for 12 next-generation diesel-electric attack submarines on the Project 76, and the Navy is open to collaboration with licensed partners of German MTU and MAN already established in India. The engine is expected to match the performance of the existing MTU engines used in the six Calvary class submarines, with specialized features like silent running capabilities to minimize acoustic detection for underwater stealth. Jindal Defense has announced that the T4 rifle developed jointly with Brazilian firm Taurus Armors, has successfully passed a series of rigorous trials under various conditions to evaluate its performance reliability and durability, and that this achievement brings the T4 rifle one step closer to being selected in a massive bid to supply 4.25 lakh carbines to the Indian Army. These trials are part of the Indian Army's stringent evaluation process to ensure that any new weapon system meets the highest standards of operational readiness and effectiveness. Today's Top 3 Comments <laughs>